So Russia, the USSR that, that they were right before uh, becoming Russia, they had experimented that their strategy of going against religion didn't work. So now they, they have come with the pro-religion strategy. So they are presenting themselves as a Christian country. They are building churches. Chechnya and Ramzan Kadyrov especially became uh, the poster child of their relationship with the Muslims. Recently, Rashi, uh, Putin made uh, comments about uh, Islamophobia in the West, and he has been trying to present himself as a pro-Islamic person and the country being presented as, a, as having a soft corner for Muslims. And so they have been affecting or hiring or whatever. I'm not certain what exactly is the case, but we have seen some so-called scholars from the Muslim world who have been trying to brainwash the Muslims to present the same case uh, on behalf of Putin. So this person all, who came all the way from um, South America tried to put Pakistan in the Russian camp using this ayah of Surah Al-Maida that is uh, ayah number 82 of Surah Al-Maida. That this ayah says that you would find the people who would be worst in their enmity against the Muslims would be the Jews Al Yahud, Walladina Ashraku, and the worshippers of the idols, the polities, the openly polities, those are like the people who worship the idols. So, this, in this ayah of Quran, Allah says, Out of the, all of the people, the worst in their enmity against the Muslims are the ones, Al Yahud. The Jews, Walladina Ashraku, meaning the people who worship the idols. And the people who would be relatively closer to Muslims uh, in terms of uh, their affection would be Alladina Qalu Inna Nasara, those would be the people who call themselves uh, the Christians. That's because they have the scholars and the priests and those are the people who, who are not proud. So this ayah of Quran specifically explains who are the arch enemies of Muslims that are Jews and polytheists, the worshippers of the idols. Back then they were um, the people of Mecca. Now we know they are uh, Hindus. So the worst in their enmity against the Muslims would be Hindus and the Jews. And relatively closer to their relationship, relatively having the soft corner for the Muslims would be the people who call them Christians. So they, they have been using this ayah to try to put, uh, put the Muslims in the Russian camp and try to convince them and try to take uh, the benefit of the current scenario where the United States has presented itself as the blood as being bloodthirsty for the bloods of the Mus blood of the Muslims and Russia has relatively been silent. So they are taking the benefit of the situation to put the Muslim countries, especially Pakistan, into the Russian camp. But I would ask these people that you have picked this ayah of Quran, picked this ayah of Surah Al-Maida, ayah number 82 of uh, Surah Al-Maida out of context. What would you say about the ayah number 51 of the same surah that clearly says rajim, Ya amanu la yahuda awliya. That O Muslims do not make the Jews and the Christians your Friends, do not be friends with the Jews and the Christians. They are the friends of each other. Whoever made friends with them, whoever made friends with the Jews and the Christians, would be among them. He won't be a Muslim anymore. In Allah la yahdil zalimin. Not only that, but also Allah tells them that they would be the zalims, they would be the oppressors, they would be the wrongdoers. What will you make from this ayah of the same surah? There are other parts of the Quran, other ayahs of the Quran that also tell us the same thing that we cannot be friends with uh, the non-Muslims. Be, by being friends means you cannot go on 
and start supporting them, them in whatever bloodthirsty sprees they are taking. What will you make out of this ayah? So now the question is, seems like that these two ayahs are in co contradiction with each other. They are not. There might be some people who, who would who would try to present you one part of the Quran out of context and try to hide the other parts of the Quran. And when you bring them forth at the same time, you, you might think in your mind that they are in conflict with each other because of their wrong presentation of uh, some ayahs of the Quran. They are not in contradiction with each other. It is very important to understand when Surah Al-Ma'idah was revealed. When Surah Al-Ma'idah was revealed on Nabi Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, it was the time when Nabi Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was sending voyages, Nabi Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was sending uh, armies uh, to fight against different other nations and he was writing the letters to uh, the kings and the uh, leaders of different uh, countries, states and nations of that time. This was the time when Islam was already an established power in Middle East. At that time, it was already established that the people of Mecca had been worst in their enmity against the Muslims. They had proved it. And also the Jews, those were settled in Madina Tul Munawwara, they had also proved that they were the worst in their enmity against the Muslims. They had already uh, broken their pacts with the Muslims and the people of Mecca had already held some wars, battles with the Muslims and they were the ones who tried to Nauzubillah kill uh, Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam uh, they never succeeded but it was established that the Jews and the people of Mecca the politics the worshippers of uh, idols were the worst in their enmity against the Muslim 